Here in a Perth industrial workshop, for many years this company has been developing undersea surveillance gliders. They use very little energy as they map the sea floor and various objects in the ocean. For many years this company was focused on commercial projects and detecting whale movements off the West Australian coast. But with AUKUS there is a growing need for undersea surveillance of a military application and together with an artificial intelligence company, Blue Ocean here has teamed up to form a glider which can sit on the ocean for many months at a time. Because they are um, non-metallic, um, because they are so small and because they are so quiet, they're almost undetectable. And, and so we can um, uh, launch them from safe locations and over a period of, of weeks if necessary, they can slowly move into location where they need to operate. Well, this month the product has been officially launched and tested in the United Kingdom, which is of course another of the AUKUS partners. Eventually, it's hoped that technologies like this that collaborate between the United States, the United Kingdom and Australia could be deployed by all of those navies and perhaps even to other allies in the region. It's certainly pointing at uh, an autonomous future that allows us to affordably um, monitor, deter and protect across our vast uh, maritime approaches. This underwater glider known as the Locust could be in development within a year or so, perhaps even earlier, and the makers are envisaging it as being a swarm of underwater submarines essentially that are able to detect Australia's vast maritime approaches as the Collins fleet struggles for availability and there are growing questions over when Australia's AUKUS submarines from the United States will arrive.